Okay, so, uh, you know, somebody, yeah, yeah, he didn't want to make this thing anymore, so I decided to finish without him. Yay, okay, let's go. Uh, he will still appear uh, in much of the video, but not in the whole video, just so you know. Uh, goodbye. The episode starts with the scientists actually managing to control the virus. So they go to find Terra, and hey, where's Giga? Did you just go? Just like that? Wait, never mind, it's back. Let me just repeat that. Two decision. Ah, peace and quiet. The birds are singing, the sun is shining. Everything. Oh god, okay, we're back in the action. By the way, I've just noticed. Why is he taking bits of the ground? This is not like the Wither Storm where if it absorbs more blocks, it gets bigger. It's mutating. Run. Okay, never mind then. It's like the Wither Storm. Then how come we haven't seen that? Um, huh? Is uh, something gonna happen? Is Scratch going to die or nothing? You can't die here. Mm, okay then. Huh? What's that? What's happening? Oh, I see it scratches Whoa, own code really blocks. Cool. That's actually kind of clever. I've never seen real life code before. Really? That's your reaction? Not like, wow, real floating code blocks. Nah, just instead, oh wow, I've never seen that before. You sound so uninterested about the fact that actual code was flying through the air. Alright, if they can hold the virus down, maybe we'll be able to destroy it. I'm sorry, but how? It's not like I got a secret weapon or anything. Wait, don't tell me gonna get a secret weapon out of nowhere. Scratch gets stuck because of the trees as a result and gets caught by the virus and then... Wait, so was that supposed to happen? So Scratch couldn't die once again. Where's the challenge to this game? And then we're suddenly in a vagi no, I mean a virus. <laughs> ah, I saw what you did there. Ah! And then they find Gobo. Gobo, why would you run like that? Hello, darkness, my old dear friend. Then he continues to go to the right and finds. <gasps> Is that you? Are you okay? And he has shit voice acting, just like the first episode. God damn it. Scratch, you you have to help me. It's controlling me using my thoughts. First of all, you do not sound terrified or scared at all. Second of all, how the fuck does it control you? You're stuck. Third of all, how in the world can it control you using your thoughts? If that was the case, then you would just be able to think that the virus would get destroyed and then you would be free. God damn. This, this game has no logic. Hey Gobo, I'm gonna need you, alright? See if you can make your way up there. Okay, he got up there. Now what? Wait, you're not gonna use it for anything. What's the point then? And then they fall down. Why? No idea. Or oh, wait, are they falling? I can't tell because of the background. Grab onto me, buddy. That's what she said. <laughs> what the actually fuck? Scratch tries to grab his shifting and then Oh no! A character that I'm supposed to care about dies! What a tragedy! 
But despite that, Scratch still manages to take out the ship and then everything explodes. It's fine though, because Scratch still has the ship despite him falling to the ground at least 5 meters. Well hey, he managed to hold on to Gobble when he swings through the water, so maybe he's just a lot stronger than it looks. Well, actually, it kinda looks strong. I mean, it's, it looks way stronger than it is in you know, his normal form. Anyway! But then he sees Gobo dead. And then, leave you in a sad moment occurs. Nah, it's not really sad. It tries to be, but it fails miserably. Probably because I, I haven't really gotten enough time to like any of the characters. Which, frankly, I don't want to. Hey, buddy, you were a bitch. You get nothing. We could have done it without you. So Scratch get all sad because Kobo didn't have the secret power of not dying from falling. But what are these lines? You are hero. You saved the world. We could have already done it without you. All those things are false. What the actual f- Gobo did nothing through the entire series. He was just sort of there as a companion for Scratch and I don't mind that. I'm, my problem is just that the game treats Gobo as he did something while he didn't. He did nothing when he was in the virus. He did nothing when you know Scratch and him was walking together. He did nothing. He was just a side character. Like controlling a monster would cause chaos? Hold on. So are you meant to tell me that not controlling a monster was a better idea? He lost a friend. Even though, you know, he he only ca causes chaos without controlling it. Oh, please. Also, I just realized that the only reason Nano, or whatever name this monkey has, is here, is so the game can have a villain. Even though the villain quotation big quotation marks is it really a villain because he made he quote unquote made a mistake or something I don't know amazing just amazing oh and hey orange guy is back and alive which means we have to keep hearing his stupid voice woohoo we should head back to the city we're going to need a whole lot of repairing ah <laughs> that's true why are you laughing why are you laughing why are you laughing Pico is going to need time to recover. I'm fine. I feel good already. Can I come with you guys? Yes, you can. Yes, you can! Friend. Okay, I guess uh, this is the part where, you know, I talk about how I think of the game. Well, just the fact that this game, even as a story, even if it's terrible, is mind-blowing considering Scratch. And it's not that way because Scratch is a terrible program, it's just that way because most people don't really use Scratch's engine and its full potential. And as a result, most people will say that Scratch's engine is a bad engine, when in reality, it can actually do a lot of things. Want me to prove it? What you're seeing on screen is a recreation of the first level of a game called Turrican 2 by Griff Patch for the Amiga made entirely made in scratch. The game looks like the original game, the game feels like the original game, I think so I haven't tried it. It's just amazing and it's made in scratch. And this is just one of many examples on how Scratch can be used to program complex games even with its simple code blocks. This game. I feel like this game is one of those examples. Because despite all of my complaints, it is still one of the best games on Scratch I've ever played. Why is it? It has a kind of complex story. A bad one, sure, but it's still something. It has cutscenes. Something that is almost never done in Scratch games, unless it's, unless it's a movie. Even the fact that it has voice acting is impressive for a Scratch game. And I guess that's gonna make it kind of bad, but still. No, I'm not gonna say the game is good, it's still really bad. It has no challenge, the story is almost entirely right right out of Minecraft Stormer and then altered to look new and also, and also just throw in some scratch characters in there or so, something, I don't know. And the game does not look good at all and the voice acting is absolutely terrible. Uh, Pico! 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 Pico!
There's not a single good thing I can say about this game unless I compare it to other Scratch projects because that's really the only place where the game shines on Scratch. So what am I comparing it to then? I'm comparing it to your average story based Flash game and in that sense it's really bad. Is there anything good about this game? Well, it has all of the characters from scratch, and they don't look half bad. Not good, but at the very least, when I compare the game's characters to the real ones scratch has, I can clearly spot who's who, and that's a plus in my book. And also the fact that despite the game not being very good, it still feel like cinematic, at least tried to make it good. It might have failed, but it didn't really feel like it didn't have any effort put into it. Well, if I had to give this game a score, then maybe I would give it a 4 out of 10. That is again compared to other Flash games. Well, thank god that's over. Now I don't have to revisit this game anymore. Ever. I can just go back to my normal life, making sprite animation, making other reviews. Yes, I am planning to make other reviews. And I don't have to ever play this game again. Kinda weird me saying that when I say good about this game. Just, uh, a couple of seconds ago, but still, I never want to revisit this game again. Alright, goodbye.